If you've just come over a mountain like Mount Hotham and experienced an incredible high that you see on top of these Australian mountains, you feel like you're on top of the world, and then you begin your long descent, travelling for perhaps 30 kilometres downhill, and most of the way in second gear to save your brakes, it's a wonderful relief to come to the bottom of the valley and find a little valley where the town of Bright is only 22 kilometres away. Now the town of Bright is one of those gorgeous towns filled with colour, particularly in autumn, but also all the year round and it sits in uh, the centre of the great alpine valleys uh, just at the base of several mountains. Here you can do your shopping and catch up with some holiday gift buying and attend little cafes or take a walk down the river. There's some beautiful parks, walkways and wildlife and you can stay in the bright caravan and holiday park which is a wonderful park right along a river where you can rent a cabin or a villa overlooking the water and you can have a wonderful time you can even take your pets there it's a pet friendly park and uh, with so much water around of course there is always the opportunity to do some fishing so if you're interested in fishing in the mountain streams uh, at Bright then take along a little bit of tackle and join in the fun. Okay, well what we're doing here is we're fishing for trout in Morses Creek at the caravan park. We just got some normal garden worms here and we're just putting it over into these little edges and we're running it through. We've had a pretty good afternoon already. We've already caught three fish. There's a few small ones in here nibbling away. And we just run it down, run it down. Occasionally we get a snag. Just a nice big long worm. The trick to catching the trout is really, really, really small hooks. And the good thing about these small hooks is that they usually get caught in the side of their jaw. So that means that you can take the hook out really carefully and return the fish back to the water. This afternoon I've already released four fish and I've caught three that are keepers. Yeah, these are little rainbow trout. Yeah. Okay. They're sort of hammering this time of the year. And we'll just flick it up a bit, right into that dark water, run it along. And that's how we go fishing in this river. Then it's time to relax by the campfire. The Bride Holiday Park provides four-week services for school groups, large groups, corporate groups. And including uh, bike riding groups as we see here. Also you can go hang gliding, uh, paragliding from the mountains. And in the winter of course there's lots of skiing opportunities. There's whitewater rafting in the area and of course fly fishing and trout fishing in the many lakes and rivers and streams. Another nice little outing is to take a five kilometre drive out to the little village of Wandilagong. This is a very scenic rural area with some magnificent views and some lovely little walks and tracks around the town. You can go down to visit the Chinese bridge that uh, celebrates and commemorates the efforts of the Chinese community in the digging for gold in this area in the last century.
We are from the Brossa Valley and we are having a great time here in Bright. We love this park, it's fabulous. The trees are beautiful, the scenery is lovely, the staff are marvellous and we're really happy. If you're looking for somewhere that's nice and quiet, the environment's beautiful and clean and got good service and beautiful clean rivers with plenty of trout and great bushwalks all over the place, come and see us up here at Bright Holiday Park. We'll look after you. We'll make sure you have a good time and give you plenty of wood there to make sure you have a lovely fire. And um, whatever you need when you get here, just give us a yell. Come and enjoy us at Bright Park. What do you reckon, Sage? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>